Good morning, everyone. Hello from Florida. What's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Abby Aslan, and we're gonna be doing a week of my life here at home in Florida for the holidays. So I'm just here. My fiance Griffin is not here. Um, we this is our sixth Christmas that we've been together, but we haven't done any Christmases like actually together. We just like to be with our families on Christmas, and then like do our Christmas separately. We got in last night, and today's Sunday, and I'm about to go get brunch in downtown Panama City with my mom and a friend that she works with. Um, I already had banana bread and coffee this morning, but I'm like already hungry and want more because I woke up kind of early, but yeah, we're going to go do that. And then I have one of my close friend, fr friends from home, her baby showers today. So it's kind of why I'm wearing blue because she's having a boy, but let me give you all a quick outfit of the day and I'm just going to like take y'all through this week. I haven't done a vlog at home in literally so long where I've like actually vlogged and not just like gotten clips. So we're gonna do it. I think it's been since like last year or maybe the year before. So I tried out the NARS light reflecting foundation today and I actually am obsessed with the way it turned out. And I also tried out the Merit bronzing stick and I really, really like it. So my hair's not dry so I look like a wet dog kind of, but here's the outfit I might change into my Uggs. I'm not sure yet. Butter is old super down and jeans are Princess Polly and boots are Princess Polly, but I think I'm gonna carry this purse because it kind of goes with the shoes. And then, I don't know, I might do my Uggs. To go over to my friend Logan's house before the baby shower because she's gonna drive me there since I don't have my car here but I brought her bridesmaid box or maid of honor box correction with me um, I just kind of like packed it in my suitcase like I flattened out the box and then brought the stuff and I had to ship out like three or four other ones this week for other friends and then the people who are in Houston I'll give them when I see them but I wanted to give my maid of honor hers in person of course so and i'm have like a whole tiktok that's going to go up probably in the next week or two which will probably be already up when this video's up but about how i did my bridesmaid boxes and what i put in them and i wish i could have done more but stuff is expensive and i can't like give them the world like i wish i could but i'm really excited to give this to her i'm gonna go ahead and give it to her today um because we are going to look at dresses on thursday so i kind of i was going to give it to her on thursday but some of my bridesmaids will be getting theirs in the mail before then and I kind of just want to go ahead and give it to her now so I'm gonna give it to her because I'm going over to her place and she's gonna drive me and then I'm gonna finally meet her dog that she has um so I'm really excited for that too Hi guys, I just got in bed and it's like at 9.30 almost and I did my skincare, took off my makeup and everything. Baby shower was good earlier, sorry I didn't really get any clips. Um, it's so hard to remember to get when I'm vlogging. Like right now since I'm doing Vlogmas on TikTok and on Instagram, it's so hard to remember to get horizontal clips for YouTube too. Because I'm so focused on getting the vertical ones. But um, it was good and asking Logan to be my maid of honor went really well. She said yes and um, it was really sweet because her like, mom was there and her sister and her boyfriend and everything. So it was cool that they all got to see it. I'm so excited to look at dresses on Thursday. It doesn't even feel real. Like I feel like that's just like something that's like I have an appointment for that's fake almost. But I'm really excited for it. Um, but I really just have been waiting for it to be an acceptable time to come in my room and read <laughs> because my parents are watching Yellowstone. So it's like, I don't want to like go isolate my room too early, but I've been waiting to read, but I was just like on TikTok and stuff trying to like find some inspiration for wedding stuff. I'm just trying to like save a lot of ideas on Pinterest and TikTok for things that I can like do myself. Yeah, but um, I am going to read some of The Court of Wings and Ruin. I am like 10% of the way through it, I think, um, which I guess I haven't talked to y'all about my reading recently, 
but if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you know, because it's been in like every vlogmas episode on there. I have been reading A Court of Thorn and Roses series. I started it in fall of 2021. Didn't finish that first book that I started because I like didn't read it for like eight months until this past summer, summer 2022. Um, and then finally picked up a Court of Mist and Fury, and I absolutely loved it. It's my favorite book I've ever read. If you want a full detailed review on this upcoming Monday, so it'll already be out once vlogs up, I'm doing like, or I did a 2022 like year in review reading edition of the books I read. So if you want to hear all my real thoughts on it, go listen to that. But just like seriously, such a well-rounded book and the characters, I'm literally obsessed like to a fault with them. Like I just like think about them all day long and I'm like these are literally fictional characters well, why do I develop such an intense obsession with something fictional and then I'm like looking at fan art and I'm like oh my gosh why am I like so into this and it's like all consuming but I'm really liking A Court of Wings and Ruins so far too or I'm 16% done with it I just try I don't want to read this too fast either I'm like trying to pace myself with it so we'll see vlogged like at all today like talk to the camera and I honestly don't know if I vlogged yesterday but today was a really like cold rainy day here in Florida um so I spent a lot of time on my computer like this morning yesterday I did a lot of like tech stuff so personal stuff and then just kind of took care of other random YouTube related things and I had like some brand edits to make and stuff for videos. So I kind of just did like work stuff yesterday, but then today I really wanted to just like set up my computer and I would have gone to a coffee shop to do it because that was like the vibe, but I don't have my car here. So I just kind of did it at home on the couch, but I did a lot of like 2023 planning. I did like a 2023 vision board, but I did like my 2023 goals and did that in the format for like my podcast but also just like for myself and then because I'm going to record that podcast episode when I get back home and then I did um a lot of Pinterest vision board type ideas I made a Instagram post for my podcast Instagram for when I talk about my um goals and everything and two weeks for that episode so that's like already made and then just took care of like some cool stuff like that like a lot of just inspiration type things and was just like really addicted to Pinterest all day. I feel like my days consist of finding things to like keep me occupied during the day here so I don't read because if it were up to me I would read from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed but I know I don't need to do that because I want to savor the books I'm reading and I'm like forcing myself to not read so I'm like what can I do today to not read yeah but we're gonna be doing a lot more in the next few days and leading up to like Christmas Eve and Christmas so I will definitely have more content um outside of the house and everything then but I feel like I've just been trying to show y'all what I've been doing instead of talking about it because it hasn't been much so. but I'm going to take a bath and use my bath bomb that I got at the little Christmas market we went to last night and read in the bath like maybe a chapter or two until the bath gets cold and then shower and then I want to do a newly try on haul because I ordered my newly to come to my parents so I'm so excited let's get to the bath and then do the try on haul
Okay, first thing from the newly try on haul. I threw this sweater on right before I got in the bath, before I talked to y'all. But I have this sweater, which is so cute. It's just like this fun, like green color. And it has like this lime green yellow accent at the neck. And I think this will be so fun for when I go to Palm Springs in early January for a bachelorette trip and even good for work when I have to go in office in January, which I can't believe that's like two weeks away. That makes me sick to my stomach. Um, but really cute and it's a little scratchy, I will say on the inside, but I don't think it makes it like not worth running because it's something you get used to. So this is the first thing. I have this really cute oversized free people sweater. It's probably blending in with my pajama shorts right now, but it's just the coziest like chunky cable knit sweater i love it i'm thinking about wearing this when we go try on wedding dresses thursday it's not exactly white but it's almost there i just don't know what else i'm gonna wear um but i love this so much i think it's gonna be so good with like leggings it'd be really cute with like jeans and birkenstocks um leggings and tennis shoes or you could really dress it up with some boots i think with the skirt i'm about to try on it might be cute so i really like this from free people very cute okay and then i got this midi or no it's definitely a maxi length skirt let me show y'all i've had a maxi skirt like this before but it's been a long time and i just wanted to try one on again i don't think with this sweater it would be good because this might be a bit too like baggy everywhere but i think with a shorter sweater it could look really cute like something like that um but it's just like this satin midi skirt it like fits me like honestly kind of perfectly if anything it might be a little bit too small but i don't think it's too small just because it has elastic in the waist so it can like really stretch well um but it just feels like tight to my skin you know but i don't know if i love it because i'm not in a full length mirror but i think with boots and a cute sweater or like a fitted top of some sort and a blazer or something this would be really cute and could also be cute for work but I wanted to try one out. Um, I don't love how the fabric sticks out right here on the sides though, I will say that. We'll see if I like it when I look back at the video. I don't have my contacts in right now, so I can't even see in the viewfinder. Okay, and then we have this really cute turtleneck. I thought the vertical stripes would be like really flattering because I typically tend to stay away from like stripes going horizontally, but it's a mock neck. It's from the brand Find Me Now, and it's like this beautiful green color with like these teal stripes going down it and it fits so good it's really comfy really stretchy i love the length of it i thought this was just really fun this would be good for literally anything because it could be worn really casually or dressed up so love this a lot we have this dress which i thought could be really cute for palm springs when i go um or just for like a date night or something in houston if i really want to be extra and if i don't get to wear it to palm springs for like our nicer night out i just don't want to have to pack like a huge suitcase when i go so i want to like a dress so that I don't have to like pack jeans and like a nice shirt and boots or whatever and I could just pack a dress and boots for the one nice night we're gonna have in Palm Springs. The underneath part's super messed up right now so ignore that but it's just got like this tree jungle type print on it. I've had it saved in my newly for a while but I went through all of my saves and was like what could I get for this trip because the weather's just gonna be like mild like a little chilly at night but really nice during the day so it's cute. I just don't know how it looks on me yet because I don't have a full length mirror. So, yeah. And then please know that I would not wear these together, but I got this jacket, which newly was like out of basically everything for related to like New Year's that could be worn for New Year's. So I got this huge um, blazer trench coat but it literally it goes down to my calves and i just needed i wanted something fun for new year's because i didn't really have anything that was good for colder weather which i don't even think it's going to be that cold in houston anymore for new year's because it's like really cold right now but i think all that's going to be gone so i'll probably just wear like a white like bodysuit or black bodysuit and some jeans and black heels honestly we're going to go to a rockets game um the rockets came on new year's eve so those are our plans because our friend that works there won some raffle tickets for a suite um because he works there so we're really excited about that and they so kindly invited us so that will be fun but i just wanted something for new year's so i got this it's definitely not the most comfortable thing on my neck because of the sequins like i wish the inside wasn't sequined right here but it's still really fun for new year's so
morning um it is 9 30 and i am meeting some friends uh two of the friends that i went to charleston with from my hometown for um coffee and breakfast at Vince. so i'm in the parking lot right now and I'm waiting on my friend to get here i actually don't know if both of them are coming i kind of like invited everyone in our group but i just said anybody who can come because i know some people are still like working from home this week but since i took off i'm not but i am waiting on my friend to get here i'm so excited for the coffee i have like the past two days i have had a horrible migraine just like right in here and i don't know why i think it was a little bit of dehydration because i didn't have like any water the day i flew in it's feeling a little bit better now but now that i haven't had coffee yet and it's 9 33 and i've been up since six i'm like okay i need coffee and i can like feel it in my head but i'm also really hungry so i went surfing this morning with my dad or i went paddle surfing because we didn't think the waves would be that big so i when the waves aren't as big i like to paddle surf because it's easier to catch waves when they're not as big but then if it's bigger i like to surf so that's kind of like my mindset but i paddle surfed and it was just us two at the beach which was so nice we didn't have to share waves with anyone um not that it's ever usually an issue anyways um when it's like not that big here it's only when it's really big here when that's an issue um and it was so fun so nice to get out there i feel the most like at peace and just like zen when i'm on the water in the water whatever and surfing like literally make forces me to be so present so like that's why i love it so much because it's the only thing in my life that i feel like i can be like fully present in the moment i'm not worried about what i'm doing in 30 minutes i'm not worried about the day before i'm like fully there but yeah i'm wearing my little newly sweater some abercrombie jeans and my uggs because i'm cold i'm still falling out because it was so cold my feet were like numb and my hands were numb um but i was in my wetsuit of course but the water was like 67 68 degrees so it was like 20 degrees warmer than what, what it was outside um like in the air it was just the wind that was so brutal but i love my hair after salt water too it's like so much better than my normal hair i need like a salt water uh like shower faucet <laughs> so i could like wash my hair with salt water you know dresses so it's thursday and i have the worst migraine ever again i don't know what's going on but i had it so bad monday and tuesday didn't have it yesterday and it's back today I just look right here i think i'm dehydrated but i don't know so i've slept like barely any last two nights because of it um and because it like wakes me up every time I move because that's when it like throbs is when I'm moving around and I took some medicine but it has not kicked in yet and I'm hoping that when I have coffee it'll kick in but I am finishing up getting ready I'm just doing white makeup I was like confused because I was like wait am I supposed to wear makeup to these appointments and I wanted to have my hair straight because my hair will be styled like for my wedding like I'm not gonna be wearing it natural um but I didn't wake up in time to wash it and use the Dyson on it so it's gonna be frizzy and curly beach hair from the water yesterday but it'll be okay um I wasn't gonna wear makeup though and because I saw like oh you don't want to wear makeup because you're trying on white dresses and everything but I think all the dresses you step into anyways instead of like pulling over your face so I just did like my usual white makeup and but I was like there's no way I can go try on these dresses and like feel like good i guess i mean i could feel good but not feel great with no makeup and my hair like this so it was like it's gonna have to be one or the other and i didn't have time for the to style my hair so we're just doing like makeup but just fine but we're gonna pick up logan and then we're gonna go to farmville press in 30a which is a coffee shop it like existed a while ago i think i'm pretty sure and then it like closed down and reopened
Hi guys, I just showered and it's the end of the day Thursday. I had dress shopping today as you guys saw and um, my migraine has like really been killing me all day and I wanted to just give like some, I don't know, little girl chat about uh, trying on dresses and everything and just like tips I have and stuff like that really quickly. I'm about to run out of memory card space, hold on. And I went ahead and did my hair because um, I just wanted the shower to see if it would like help me feel better. I knew it wouldn't make my migraine go away, but it, I was like, I feel like I just need to refresh and I wanted to do my hair because I didn't want to have to wash it again um, while I'm here. So, so I'm here until Monday and today's Thursday night. So I wanted to go ahead and do it. And I wish I would have done it last night so that my hair would have been like this for trying on dresses because it would have like felt more like put together because I was like so angry at myself today when I was trying on dresses because my hair just looked so bad. So I was like, oh my gosh, I just like feel gross like because my hair is all gross and yeah, so a tip is to go, not, you don't have to have your hair with the way you want it done because I'm definitely not going to have my hair straight for my wedding, but just at least like do it in a way that you feel like good in. Like I would have felt fine if like my hair had just been washed, but because it was like salt water hair, wasn't the best. And um, yeah, so definitely, and like if you're most confident wearing makeup, wear makeup if you feel fine without it and you just want to like be comfortable, don't wear makeup, like really just do what you feel best in. Went to Margaret Ellen Bridal. I have a lot of friends that have gotten their dresses here, there and like no people that have gotten their dresses there. And I had such a wide range of styles that I sent for inspiration to them because I have a vision, I have like a vibe in my head for my wedding dress, right? And I didn't really know how I wanted it to be executed necessarily and Elena at the um, Margaret Ellen store she did such a good job of pulling dresses for me because I tried on like some stuff a lot it was all of the same vibe but some of them were more lace heavy some of them were more beaded heavy some of them were plain um, and I really tried on everything and it's so crazy and I'm sure that this is advice that like you hear all the time when you're going wedding dress shopping but try on everything like even if you look at it and you're just like no try it on because even if you like that dress style you don't like it or the look of it you may realize you like the cut of it more because like for me I was um, really against like a certain neckline and it ended up being the neckline I got and not necessarily that I was against it I just didn't think it would look good on me stuck between two dresses and in an effort to be more authentic with myself and be making decisions for myself which I know I've talked a lot about a lot about in recent vlogs with like struggling with that and like doing what makes me happy and like making decisions for me and not considering what other people are thinking like I really struggle with that I was between two dresses at the end of it and I was like you know what I love this one but I feel like I part of the reason I'm picking it is for the reaction that it'll get from the people at the wedding and the other one when I put it back on the second time I like cried and I was just it just like I'm gonna like really cry thinking about it but it's like it's so me and it's exactly what I like envisioned and it's just perfect and I was wasn't against getting a dress today but honestly I went into like this week thinking like I really don't want to find a dress at the store I just want to try stuff on and see what I like and then look again in Houston when I get back this upcoming week but that would have been so stressful because if I didn't find one in Houston I would have to be going during busy season to look so I wasn't really considering all of that and I was just kind of like oh I want to look at Houston but then you have to pay deposits places like $50 which goes towards like your dresses and everything but you have to pay these deposits and it goes towards your dress but I'm like I don't want to do that at a bunch of places and lose it like lose that money yeah so I'm really happy I found one but truly and honestly like I didn't think today would be the day I'd get one but I found the one and I couldn't be more obsessed with that I keep going back and looking at the picture of it because I'm just like so happy with it and so excited and honestly trying on wedding dresses was something that I didn't think was going to be this like big deal this big experience but the closer the day came up I started getting like butterflies and getting nervous and then like it ended up just being this really surreal and special experience and day and I think like definitely try to go somewhere that like has good reviews and everything because the right place is going to make you feel really special and like you know really highlight the moment for you and it was so special to have like logo my maid of honor my mom there but I also just wanted to recommend like um going with your gut and your intuition because there were several dresses where I was like, I really like this, but I think I like it for someone else and not for me. And really just follow that yes feeling in your gut when it comes to like trying stuff on. Also wanted to just say like the wedding process in general is just like stressful and 
it's okay to feel stressed out but i've always known that i wanted a like i truly do want like a wedding like a celebration type thing so um but it's so easy like especially when you're like helping with the cost of the wedding like yourself it's really easy to just be like i want to just say screw it and do like the cheapest option possible and like don't get me wrong i am absolutely like trying to do the most like cost effective things that i can um it's okay to like have those feelings <laughs> it's normal but um it's just i don't know it's a stressful time but at the same time it's a really great time this is like the first time like i felt really stressed the entire time i was like touring venues and now and like now that the venue's booked i feel good about that which we just booked last weekend but like, now that i've gotten the dress i'm like okay i feel a lot better now it's just a good day and i just really loved that whole process and it's like gonna be such a special core memory of mine like I literally want to go back and do it again because it was like so fun and I just felt so like pretty and like special and like I don't feel that way about myself a lot of times because I just feel like I look like a slob a lot of times and so it just felt really nice to like be in like such beautiful exquisite clothing you know so I don't know but I've been rambling for a while so I'm gonna go ahead and lay in bed and read and hope and pray that this migraine goes away because your girl is struggling and there's no way I can keep dealing with this through Christmas. I am currently in downtown Panama City again. We just went to the press, um, Amy Lee and I did, and it was so fun. I'm so glad I got to catch up with her because I got to see her briefly for like an hour and a half in the summer when I went to Kentucky for a wedding because we like had a, um, we flew in the Nashville and then drove to Kentucky. So I got to see her for lunch then, um, but we were like with Griffin's family. So this is the first time I've gotten to just like see her in literally so long. So it was so nice to see her and catch up with her. And we just like shut down that coffee shop. We had no idea they were closing early, which it makes sense because it's the day before Christmas Eve, but we literally like shut them down quite literally. Um, so it was really good to see her. I just had the same crepe I had the other day and a coffee. It was actually so good. It was a hot latte with oat milk and gingerbread. So good. I am about to head to my grandma's now and we're gonna do Christmas at my grandma's. And then tonight doing cookie decorating at one of my friend's houses. So I'm excited for that. My migraine is still really bothering me. I don't know what's wrong. I'm getting a little scared now because I've never had a persistent one like this where it's lasted like this long. Um, and I'm obviously like looking stuff up and it's like if it gets worse when you lay down and if it's really bad in the mornings and if it's waking you up in your sleep, it's not a good sign. And all those things are happening. So I'm a little nervous and I've told myself once I get back to Houston, if it's still bothering me, I will get it checked out. Um, because part of me feels like it's just the weather, like the drastic changes and everything. I don't really know. I'm also close to like starting my period. So I feel like that could be factoring into it. It feels a little bit better right now. Um, surprisingly, it's still there, but it's not as like intense and sharp as it was like this morning, but that's how it tends to go. It like phases out a little bit in the afternoons where it's just like a tension headache and not like a sharp pain. But then in the evenings and in the mornings, it's really bad. So let's go ahead and go to my grandma's though. Amy Lee got me a little freaking Christmas gift and I was like, felt so bad because I had nothing for her so sweet um i should have known she would do that though she's always just a giving person at heart and i i was like let me at least get your coffee <laughs> um because i feel so bad but downtown is literally so cute right now and like when i say downtown this is not like a it's you know like a small town downtown where it's just like a bunch of local businesses and it's not um like anything compared to like a houston downtown i still remember the first time i brought griffin downtown here and it was so funny because he was like this is downtown <laughs> because it's like all it's just it's not multi-level buildings there's no skyscrapers and i was like well yeah of course this is my downtown because i'm you know from a smaller area but let's go ahead and get to my grandma's um and i'm gonna drink some water Merry Christmas Eve. Um, it is currently at like 2.20 and I'm going to very quickly get ready because we're going to go to a Christmas Eve service. Um, so I need to get ready quickly, but I was just gonna like get ready and chat with you guys really quickly. Um, I'm just gonna do really light makeup. I really don't even wanna wear any 
I'm only doing it so I don't look like super tired. We've just been baking this morning. I slept in a bit because I was at my friend Kylie's house for the cookie decorating stuff until like 12.30. Like I woke up at nine, my parents went to the beach and walked and I was like really sad that I slept in at first because I was like, oh my gosh, I wanted to go. But they said it was so cold. They couldn't even walk on the beach on their way back to like the car. They had to go back up to the road. I'm absolutely loving this NARS light reflecting foundation. I'm thinking I want this to be like my wedding day foundation because I've tried like several over the last year. Um, um, but I wanted to ask you guys, I did ask on my Instagram story um, this week, like if there was anything y'all wanted to see in particular, like going into the upcoming year. Um, just like on YouTube and everything and a lot of you guys gave really good feedback um, And everything just because it's so hard as a content creator, especially with TikTok nowadays and stuff like to not be super hard on yourself with um, Your content and everything at times. It just feels like you literally It could just be so confusing and I know I've talked about it before but it feels like the only content that like truly people like religiously follow and like really buy into is more like materialistic stuff where like it's products being pushed a lot or um just like talking about like more luxury things that just aren't necessarily like a part of the everyday person experience and that's like the content that seems to get consumed the most but then like people like really say like oh well we want relatability and everything so then like as a content creator you just want to find the balance between like sharing things you love so that like people know what things you use on a daily basis and everything. I just get confused because it's like, I don't like actively seek out things to like put on my Amazon storefront or to link, you know what I mean? Like I just do it as I have things that I find that I love that I know you guys would love and link those things. And then I like start thinking to myself, well, when I was in college, I got like a lot better brand deals in the sense of like the price I was being paid, but also the, um, brands I was getting the work with were a lot more like well-known like brand names but then it's like when the brand deals I'm getting are you know just not the same anymore because of the way my numbers are it's like I, I don't really know like I'm using I'm doing the brand deals that I think work best with my lifestyle and content and that I think like um, you guys would benefit you know most from thinking of like my demographic because it's actually crazy my my highest um age demographic is actually like 25 to like 35 i think and it used to be the 18 to 25 so i've tried to like kind of keep that in mind so like thinking of things like you know like vacuum cleaners and stuff i'm like okay yeah like that's so something that like i care about a lot as an adult and that like you guys would care about but i just get confused because i'm like okay my numbers are down so like how can i you know make people want to watch my videos again or watch them more or whatever and everyone says just you know we love like days and day in the life videos and stuff like that and i just get confused because i'm like that's what i'm doing so i don't know what it is so i just get really confused you guys and i'm not saying this in a complaining way it's genu genuinely me just speculating like what can i do to be a better um content creator to serve you all like how can i make my content more enjoyable for you all and i definitely going into the new year my goal is to you know keep doing one video a week keep doing one podcast a week um i don't want to get an editor just because i don't think it's um cost effective right now with what i am making from youtube i am making a i made a lot less in 2022 i mean i still make you know a good amount from it and i'm very very grateful for that i'm just saying it from an observation standpoint but i want to really focus on kind of like making sure my videos because I, I get especially when i'm really busy with work i kind of get in this thing where it's like i don't really leave my house and do anything so like you know obviously allowing myself to chill at home if that's what i want to do but obviously like i want to show more of houston you guys and make more of an effort to like go new places and see new things do new things whatever but i also really want to maybe try to incorporate a theme not into every video because sometimes a good vlog is just literally a vlog of you just like your your life that week you know what i mean so i kind of want to focus on hopefully getting a theme across the videos and i try to keep my work very separate just because i just think it's better that way but i know you guys are like we want to know what you do and stuff and I've been trying to do that in recent vlogs if you haven't seen like I tried to talk about like what I do in off season and everything so I'll try to like keep that updated in videos and everything let me know what you guys 
want to see more of in the new year you know obviously i numbers are everything but obviously as a good content creator you're going to look at them to sort of be a you know guide and a signal for when you're planning for more content for making more videos you want to look at that because they are indicative of what your viewers like and don't like you know what i mean so it's kind of to an extent obviously they're not the end all be all but they're definitely something that needs to be looked at i guess and not ignored so that's why i'm saying that because i want um you guys to enjoy the content of course so that's why i'm valuing your input and i want to be as authentic as possible that's like my biggest goal but i just want to get y'all's input about what you like so let me know I'm not your